Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to Deuterium 10. So, we have here a motherboard from Gigabyte that they say is made for mining. So, I'm going to unbox it. It comes in a very simple packaging. None of those fancy cardboards. It's just a plain boring packaging. It comes with a back plate and connectors for your hard drive. Also an installation CD, which you probably don't need. Which you probably don't need because, you know, you will be putting a CD-ROM in this thing. No, you, you will probably just download it from the internet. The plastic is also feels very cheap. They obviously cut out of the packaging, so they could they could cut down the price. It's only around 5,300 pesos, or that's a little more a little more than a hundred dollars. Here, the packaging may be cheap, but the motherboard the motherboard still looks good. Here's a closer look. So yeah, this motherboard is advertised as, as super durable. So we can assume we can run it for 24 hours, 7 days a week, straight. Yes, that's 6 PCIe slots, 1 PCIe times 16, and 5 PCIe times 1. So overall, without even testing this motherboard, I can say that it's great. So in case the mining ice age comes, you can still use this as a gaming motherboard. This by the way is a socket 1151 motherboard which means you can use your 6th and 7th gen processors with it. Thank you for watching, hit like if you like this video, dislike if you disliked it, leave us a message in the comments and tell us what you think about this video. If you have any questions, just put that in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. But wait, there's more! This is the Gigabyte H110D3A motherboard set up as a mining rig. So, wait, let me show you the entire rig. There it is. So, this is a uh, GTX 970. A Seasonic, uh, I think it's an S12. Yes, it's an S12. Oh, by the way, just a reminder, it has no HDMI or DVI video output. So let's turn it on because this is a makeshift case. I have to turn it on manually. Or, I mean, by shorting something in here. The pins need to be shorted. Yeah, it's running now. Get in the BIOS. There. Honestly, um, this BIOS I was confused. Not used to the BIOS of Gigabyte. It has all the usual stuff that you would normally need from a BIOS. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, since if you're a miner, this is very this is very important. Turns on when you plot when you lose power. See the controls. Nothing very strange or very special about it. 